Craig, we're here with Jason Kramer, uh, crew chief for Major Mogan's F-22 demo team. Awesome. We've got some jets flying overhead. We're obviously here at the air show. And you're going to show us a little bit about the F-22 up close. I'd be mean, more than happy to. This is a phenomenal jet. It's a fifth generation fighter. And we've basically taken the best of all the legacy fighters and we've rolled it into one airframe. And what that does from a mechanic standpoint is it makes the jet very maintainable. We can take any crew chief from any other different air, uh, airframe, put him on this jet, and he understands something on it. Right. Um, the systems on it all work together. It's all fully integrated, which means everything talking to itself, like the flight controls are talking to the fuel to keep the center of gravity in the center of the aircraft. So when he's able to do the back flips and the tail slide, he's also controlling his center of gravity, making sure that the aircraft doesn't get out of weight. So it's, and, it's more stable. It is. It's very stable. Talk um, to me about some of these things. If somebody's never seen this jet before, what is some of this stuff? This is the, what we've done is we took like an F-15 that has like external fuel tanks, a lot of ugly things hanging off the jet. And what that does is that it gets a drag going and it slows the airplane down. So we've taken a full complement of an F-15 and we've rolled it internal. Okay. We can carry eight missiles all internally and along with 18,300 pounds of gas, which is outstanding. Yeah. Because everybody wants a lot of fuel. If you've never seen this jet before, I mean, it's really smooth. Every surface, you can just tell that it was created and designed to be as smooth as possible. It also looks like it has some sort of special coat of paint on it. It does. It has a, it's called mold zone. But that's not what gives it its full stealth. What we built this jet out of, and also the shape of it. All the, the stabs are the same angle as the intakes. And what that does is it's like throwing a tennis ball at, at a wall. You don't want that tennis ball to come back to you because that's how radar works. We send out a radar beam, we want it back, and that tells us something's out there. So we went ahead and we make it different angles on here. There's no 90 degree angle. So every time you throw a tennis ball at this jet, it's going in another direction. So it deflects the radar signals it, it at your advantage. It does. And that, that makes it very, very stealthy. Okay, so everything's carried internally, as you're saying. Now talk to me about some of these flight control surfaces. I mean, this is one of the bigger flight control surfaces that you'll see on a jet, right? Oh, they're, they're huge. The, the vertical stab is about the size of an F-16's wing. Okay. And then we went ahead and we tied our, our power plant, our motors, and we tied them in with the flight controls to get that thrust vectoring. Yeah, you can see how much control the pilot has with yeah. the surfaces. And when he's up there and he's doing his tail slide and these guys are back there, it's not like the old days where they got a center stick and they're yanking and baking. These guys have a side stick controller. It's much like a Viper po a cockpit. And that gives them nice and comfortable back there. And he's just doing wrist movements. And it's so small all, movements. it's fly by wire. So whatever he's pulling, it's putting him back here. Awesome. And it's great because he doesn't have to work out a lot. You know what I mean? Just sit there and move his wrist. Right, okay. Now, so these are obviously the flight controllers. They do, and they close down to get that thrust and they squeeze in and out to keep the thrust going. And also they go ahead and they pop up and down. And we don't How use hydraulic, do 23 degrees up and down. Okay. So, and they're tied directly with the flight control. So when he pulls back on the stick, those things are kicking up or kicking down. Okay, awesome. Very, very cool. So now talk to me about some of the things that I don't know. Tell me something, tell me the coolest thing that you like working on this aircraft. The coolest thing, well, from a mechanic standpoint, it's not that cool. The jet tells on itself. It tells me when it's broke, it tells me how it's feeling, it even tells me how much fluid's in it. So really, it's taking all the troubleshooting fun of finding problems out, fixing aircraft. Yeah. It takes the fun out of it. I mean, you essentially hook a computer up to this jet, right. and it goes through its process, and it tells you what's going on. It tells me how it's feeling, and then on top of that, it even insults me by telling me what to change. But that, that's gotta be good for you, though. It is, it is. Right? It makes it, it, makes it, takes it some so... takes the fun out of it, but at the it, same time, it's a faster process. It is, it's very fast. Um, and, and Lockheed Martin was very smart when they designed this aircraft. They went ahead and they put a lot of our, our changing parts inside the weapons bays or inside the wheel well, so we don't have to disturb this nice sensitive coating. Yeah, because I mean, this little observable coating, you would have to obviously. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing it wouldn't be as simple as touching up with. No, it's not. It's not just going out there with fingernail polish and cleaning it up. They actually have to strip it off. They have to clean it, sand it, and it's a big process. Do you have special hangers where you do that? We do. We have special bays, but we also can certify a lot of our maintenance bays to do it. And uh, when we do that, we secure the hangar so that way we don't have anybody with cameras or anybody taking pictures of it because we got to keep our American secrets. Right, right. And that's the best thing about this, this jet. It's, it's, a, it's an all-American fighter. Every part of it is American. So you don't when you turn it over, there's no Made in Taiwan sticker on it. Um, it's built in 46 different states. So a piece of this aircraft is no kidding across the country. Right. And everybody has a part of the raft, which is nice. Awesome.